When we talk about birds, they all sing nice songs, but they're all singing out of tune. And nobody complains, you know, because it's natural. I play the cello, but uh, I never touch a string. It could be an upright bass, it could be a horn, a tuba, but a cello is much more easier to, uh, to use for this kind of configuration. He's so reachable. I mean, what he has to say is so out there. I mean, he is so brilliant, but he made such a connection with the students and they kept him for another 45 minutes with really wonderful questions that he was very generous in answering. One of the great things about the kind of person Trimpin is, is he sort of forces you to think outside of the box. He'll take a very normal object and turn it on its head and make it do something completely crazy. So in the grander scheme of things, for students, it's so valuable to learn how to look at things from a different perspective or to completely change their approach to anything. On the backpack of the clown is a small amplifier and this toy would run down the string. You could hear what was recorded on the wire. Then I thought when it's possible to record on a piece of wire, then it should also be possible to record on a piece of paper. And so I was starting the so-called magnetic scores. I was grinding, filing metal, and then I used the same kind of recording head and a microphone, and I would talk and basically record on, on this paper. He designed a sculpture. It's a tower of guitars that are playing different sort of rock pieces. Nobody knows exactly, probably 700 guitars. It was sponsored by the Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, and he plays guitar, so suddenly he would say, so, who is going up there and tune the guitars? I wasn't really prepared for this issue, so I said, they tune themselves. <laughs> and that's the first time he looked in my eyes and said, wow. It's really exciting for the students to be able to see someone that's been so successful with sort of a hands-on and a very technological end to the work. I was always fascinated by anything that was out of the ordinary dealing with music. And of course, he's definitely out of the ordinary.